I built a few farms on this world. I built a few. But I thought something. These are all mob farms. I need a farm that doesn't rely on mob spawning, you know? Because, you know, what if what if I don't want a farm where I have to manually turn up and kill things or flick a lever and just make things burn? You know? What if I don't want to do that? So I've cleared out an area back here where I haven't slabs, conveniently, definitely planned. And we're going to build some kind of food farm because that's a dog, that's iron, that's a dog food, that's gunpowder and all, that's gunpowder bones, arrows and all other sorts of nonsense depending on whatever drops are there. Let's make something that produces, I don't know, um, fucking carrots because golden carrots are good for you, but you need normal carrots to get to golden carrots and my texture pack isn't on. Hold on. Hold please. Da -da 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 -da. I'm loving it. Anyways, I'm a see what I can do. So, one idea I had was what if I made a timer that so takes so long to finish that a carrot can fully grow in the time it takes to finish. You know? Like if I get some farmland, because yes this is a block by the way, I don't need a hoe, and I get some water and I uh, like Give me my test area. This is where the test is taking place. Farmland, carrot, carrot. How long does that take to grow? Well, we're going to find out. It is currently a minute 40. Let's see how long it takes. Over here, I'm going to build a clock that is dick. Now, if I set all of these to a four ticks, that should be enough for that carrot to grow, right? Sorry for not talking much, I'm just testing this thing. Now I haven't actually tested this principle, but like, sure it'd probably work, won't it? I mean like, you know. Surely it'll work. Okay, despite being slow, that is still fast. So like, so what I'm seeing is I need to make this even longer. How long can I make this actually? You know, like if I just like make this the whole length of the damn thing. You know, like all of these are repeaters set to full ticks. I have an idea of how to test that actually, hold on. No thinking for Bat Tiger, it's going to also take the build time for that carrot to grow, isn't it? Yes, it will, obs observant viewer. I have a solution for this as well, see. Now that, that farmland is waterlogged, it'll stay waterlogged essentially forever. So, right, I need an observer. This is actually the plan, yes. Uh, we're just going to ding, that's a lever. Hop, hop up. So essentially, when I place the carrot, it will set off this behemoth of a clock. This absolute massive clock that all the women say I have. You know, I've got a massive clock. It's gonna be it's gonna be massive. This is literally possibly one of the biggest redstone clocks ever. And it's being built here on the Bat Tiger channel when no one will ever see it. So if you are seeing this, subscribe. Please. I, I, you know what? Subscribe. I'm no longer asking. This is a threat. I'm just kidding. It's not a threat. I won't hurt you if you don't subscribe. But I will hurt your family. So, um, do you love your family? I'll assume so. Spamming down repeaters, knowing damn well if I scuff this up. Okay, right, now watch this. Donk. 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 This will keep the whole thing going. Oh, that's not stayed waterlogged. Um, well, I kind of planned on you staying waterlogged, but... 
Here you go, some water. Anyway, so now to just fucking smack all of this to the point of it working, hopefully. Here we go, see? Oh wait, this is gonna have to... I'm gonna need this redstone to also power a piston that will destroy it, so that like... It doesn't fat fire every time the cat grows up a stage, because otherwise it'll fi be firing a lot more than it should. See, here on the Bat Tiger channel we think about our problems, and we solve them rationally, using thought and discussion. You know? Sometimes that thought and discussion is with a large knife going into the other person, but you know, sometimes it isn't. Most of the time I don't need to get a diamond sword and kill my opponent. Sometimes I can just discuss things with them openly, like a normal human. This is going to take ages, isn't it? If you're still watching this, you're an absolute damn trooper, because you're, like, watching me just click repeaters. Like, I'm not even saying anything funny. Like, I, I could say I'm repeating this task and I'm repeating this joke, but, you know, I could also repeat doing your mum, so, you know. And by that, I don't mean I've shagged your mother. I mean that there's a song called Doing Your Mum that I could put on repeat. There we go. It is officially hooked up. Every repeater is set to the timing it needs to be. Start the machine! There's no way. It has to be slow enough. Surely. Surely. But buddy, I need you to grow. Buddy. Buddy, it's a race against time. Like, I no longer wish to alarm you, but if the redstone gets here, uh, you get killed instantly. So, could you please grow? Oh god, it's coming! Carrot, come on! Dude, come on! You need to do it! You can win this! You can win this fight. We can't win this today. Um... Well... I'm sorry, my son. No! I spent so long, man, for nothing. Well, just let that kill itself, I guess. We need another method. What takes a while to- Sugar cane. Sugar cane. Saved by sugar cane, guys. Trust me, I know what I'm doing now. Okay, here we are. Sugar cane takes a fucking age to grow. So my theory is, if a sugar cane can grow up to three blocks, all the carrots should have grown. And if they haven't, I can replant them anyway. It's genius. It's literally genius. This can't go wrong. Where the fuck is the sugar cane? It's probably nature. Um, let me have a look. Uh, sugar cane. Sugar, sugar cane! Hello, buddy. Okay, so, right, if I get a... Look that you put sugar cane on. Okay, I can't put it there yet, though. I need water. Why did I get rid of my water? Uh... There we go. Boom. System set up. Now, this is going to be our core for the farm, okay? Okay, and then look, watch this. It's filled a thing that goes all the way up. I'm asking, what about Tiger? How do you auto-replant? Are well, you going to fill a villager's in inventory with carrots and trap them on each floor and make them do it? What, isn't that slavery, Bat Tiger? Yes. Did I ask? Please consider that none of us care about villagers. Let's face it. As a Minecrafter, there's no way in hell you actually care about the villager mob. Like, I'm sorry. You just use them for slavery, don't you? And before you say, no, 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 I care about villagers, man. Like, they're, 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 they're valuable members of my economy. Yeah, the economy you built on enslaving them. <laughs> the only reason they're valuable to your damn economy is because they're the fucking backbone of it. Can 
And here's where the hoppers are. Here's where some chests are going to go to stop the items from getting stuck. Because I figure that maybe adding chests might fix something. Because I think if there's a block that doesn't have a full hitbox, the items aren't as likely to get stuck on it if the water just reaches. So... Wait, how the fuck is the water from the dispensers up here? You're gonna get all the way down there. I mean, I could just, like, shave off, like, 80% of it, I guess. That could work, yeah. Suck a dip, I guess. So by the way, my iron farm and my zombie farm are also actively producing things while this is happening. Okay, question. Um, Not really a question, it's more of a statement, but do you work... Okay, how far is that distance? It is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How many blocks out do you flow? One, okay, wait, hold on, let me just. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks, okay. That is exactly a bit far for this little one. Two, seven, eight, nine, okay, I need to shave off about two blocks. Because that way I'll have. Seven. Okay, does it flow down after seven blocks though? Let me check. Let me check. Hold on. Like, if there's a hole, how far will you flow? Okay, it does work. Water flows. We have confirmed that water flows, everyone. Congratulations, we have discovered science. We have discovered, through the power of our scientific prowess, that water does in fact flow. Thank you all for coming today. It has been a great discovery for the human race that I'm sure will benefit us in many ways. Could you shut up please, sir, in the front row? I swear to God, I will literally kill you. Oh, nice. I thought, oh, anyways. Anyways, uh, he had a knife. We don't allow knives in our shows. Swords are fine, but that was an iron sword. It was a knife. Sense make. Good. One of my friends had their school broken into by a guy with a knife. That's pretty cool. Anyway, um... Okay, I need to actually um, snip this down a bit more. Extend this by two blocks. Trim back here off by two blocks. Bingo, bango, bongo, it'll work, I guess. I see. Easy. Can you shut? Will you shut up, man? The drive by dehusking. Okay, do Oh, yeah. Bye, bitch. Just that you just try flying people. Turn off the auto for a minute. I don't think that automatic mechanism works. Okay, that's actually seven blocks exactly, so we're all good there. This is burger one to burger actual. I have secured the potassium. There we go, now we need to put in our farmland. I haven't talked much in this video and that's probably a good thing considering my voice is probably really annoying on camera. I know this because I sound different on camera to how I do in real life. I think we all do because cameras aren't really good at, that good at mixing sound. I might sound more like me if I get like a microphone but I can't afford it, too expensive. So I'm not going to. Hey! 
I hope. Hey, fucking. There you go, see? You go, easy. Easy money, easy money. See? Oh, fuck. Um. Aha! Yeah, that works, didn't it? There you go, see? Boom, boom, boom. Excuse me, bitch. What the hell did I say about not growing? Infertile soil will be killed. Has that sugar cane actually grown yet? Okay, good. Go look at this efficient farm design. The best part is you can just put more of these next to each other. Well, actually, I don't even need the chests. I can just fucking put offers here. Hold on. I'm a genius. I don't even need the chests. I want to rig this up to a chest though. Okay, here we go. Here's our chest for all of our profits. Popper. Hopper flowing into that, and then we just have these ones. Hopper flowing into that. Hopper, hopper up there. Anything that falls down here will flow into this bottom over here, so it should be alright. And then anything else will flow into these hoppers, which will flow all to the system. And you want to know how you can save iron, and increase storage? This will literally do the same job. So you put an item in there. So if they're into here. Hell yeah, baby, hell yeah. Anyways, now, um, first of all, to get rid of all these gaps in my system, because this looks ugly. All the holes look ugly. There we go. There we go. And finally, back here is all we done. Now to build the dispenser mechanism, because as it turns out we need a method of farming the carrots. I also plan on torturing villagers for this farm, so watch until the end, because fuck, um... You keep your health farmland block for existing. Okay, great, there we go, now we're just gonna... Is that connected to that? Yes, I believe it is. And that sugarcane starts at fucking growing. The crops grow slower in this biome or something, I swear, honestly. Probably sugarcane growing slowly, I don't know. Am I gonna power them? That's how we're gonna power them. I can just pull this up, like... The fact it flows down in the middle doesn't really matter, that was just going to show the rest of it flowed, so like... 
realistically. There you go. Boom, bitch. Easy money. And also, another thing, um... I was thinking, but Bat Tiger, what if this farm doesn't work at night? Don't worry. Do not worry, young one, I have a solution for this as well. It's called the daylight sensor. It tells you when shit's dark. So, for example, if shit gets dark, it'll turn on all these lamps. See? When it's bright. So now if I slash time at uh, night. Boom, bitch! Lighting! Lights up the farm! Oh. Bloody A, honestly. Boom. Can all of you please leave? Exit the premises of this redstone world immediately or, be pa or pay the price of your blood. Then pay with your blood. <gasps> Stop. You have violated the law. Either pay your bounty or serve your sentence. Your stolen goods are now forfeit. Very well then. Now to um, you know, figure out the torture mechanism. Because as it turns out, I don't want to do this by hand. Nah, that's what shadows do. What I want to do is instead trap a villager inside and make them do the work for me. You might be going for bad tiger. That sounds unethical. Unethical. Shut the fuck up. No one cares. <laughs> They're fucking villagers. Who gives a shit? <laughs> like I'm sorry, but in Minecraft, villagers don't get human rights because I'm fairly certain they aren't considered human. So like. It's chill, dude. Villagers aren't people anyways. They're just fucking robots. And that's not even me being like, really like, Oh, but they are people, so like, no sort of rest of our lessons. They literally aren't people, they're fucking bad AI. Which means I can trap three- which means I can trap about six villagers in this farm. And no one can call me up on human rights violations for it, because they're fucking code, dude. No one cares. go. See? That wasn't so hard, was it? Was it? Better not have been. I remember a time when dispensers would just throw buckets. Why even have this here? I can just fucking put the redstone one next to it. I can literally just move this over. Obvious thing is obvious. Main character is an idiot for no reason, cliche. Simpsons reference. Ding. Fast on sand. I don't know if it'll look nice with scrolling sand. So sand. Wait, this isn't where that goes. This is where that goes. Don't listen. Water. Water. You're doing this to me. Oops. 
Dies. But I can't drive. <laughs> you know, imagine you're just like some soldier somewhere, you know, you're fighting the US and you just hit like an A10 warthog, hit like the squad of guys next to you. Your, my, my first thought would just be uh, just that noise specifically, just like. You know, because like Jesus Christ, I almost died, dude. Like, you know, if an A10 warthog ever fires at me and misses, I pity whoever was standing next to me. Because like they're dead, like their ass is dead. Okay, question: Does this work? People are yelling outside my room. My sister's got a friend over and it's... They're all yelling outside, I don't get it. Why can't they just shut up? Honestly. The camera can definitely hear them, I'm just saying it. Okay. First of all, I need, I need like six villagers. Okay, where are the villagers? Villager. You. Come here. Right, you. Now your job is simple, buddy. You are going to work as a farmer. Welcome to the world, buddy. Have all of those carrots. Now go start planting carrots. Okay? And you've become a farmer as well. He's not picking them up anymore, so I'm getting guessing his inventory is full. Wait, what about you? It's great. 
I'm literally just throwing carrots at farmers. Now stop planting! You guys have so much farmland. Fucking do something, honestly. Stop. At least plant something. Like, come on, dude. You wanna reach your workstation? Is that it? Why are you trying to reach him? Oh yeah, you guys wanna break. Oh, well, there's actually not a guy. Let's see. You fucker! You fucking scuffed the farmland, and now you made me scuff the water sign. You two are too focused on having sex to actually do your jobs, honestly. Ugh. Right, well, these two have to go. Unfortunately, um, they are too... Um... <coughs> fucking scuffed the farmland. Even in death, that fucker scuffed the farmland, honestly. Dumbasses. So this can't be a carrot farm because the villagers didn't work. So the first, like, 30 minutes of this video isn't going to make any sense. Um, anyways... That's how we do it here. That is how we do it here. Nothing makes sense ever. Right, what else can I make though? Seed, 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 seed. <gasps> we. I can just fill the inventory with wheat seeds. Huh. You, there, you, huh. there. Become farmer. Huh. Huh. What's wrong with the fucking workstations cursed? Last I checked, you guys didn't give a shit about curses. Here we go, finally. Right. Get out of here with your hostile mob looking asses. Okay, there we go. Now that it's daytime, we can start putting in damn farming stations, dude. Great, now. I need a. Uh, let me drop this. These, I guess. Don't take my seeds, you fucking prick! I will literally kill you. He didn't take the sword, so the threat of death is still on the table for all of them. Anyways, oh, uh, anyways, seeds. Okay, great. Now I'm gonna just put the sword in the ether dimension. Great, thanks. Very helpful. Enderman needs to not be here, so I'm gonna kill that guy with the sword that I don't have. Thanks, me. Just stop throwing wheat seeds. When this guy runs out of inventory space, that's nice. Stop throwing wheat seeds. Go ahead, pick up the seeds, you bitch. You done? You had enough seeds? Okay, good, I can start on the next guy. Fuck! I pressed to destroy item while holding down shift to try and shift click some seeds. Great, there we go. I can always make this a manual farm where I don't have to replant. Actually, yeah, I don't need the fucking observer, I can just put a button there and then when it's all fully grown there'll be a light on or something, I don't know. Come on, buddy, come on. You fill up on seeds yet? Yep, he's fill up enough, he's start planting. You picking these up? You picking up what I'm putting down? Okay, he's not picking them up, so like, I'm guessing he's chill. Have fun planting, man, buddy. Dude, just keep planting. I've got seeds to give the others, so we're gonna stop piling the seeds onto you, buddy. Just giving you all manners of seeds. So it takes about eight stacks of seeds. He's putting them in the fucking compost, or like a dickhead, honestly. Should be enough, takes about eight stacks. Wow, look, seeds. Look at all these seeds I'm giving you, dude. How about you plant them because you've got nothing else to do? 
Oh. You're a farmer, stop farming! <laughs> For God's sake, honestly. It's a farm that requires six farmers to work. But the farmers don't have to be people, so like... Free labour. Also, these guys spawned in like yesterday, meaning they're technically children, so this is also child labour. So if that gives anyone an extra incentive to make it, looking at you, Nestle, uh, that'll be great. Uh... Sorry, just that's my seed noise. Uh... I need um quite a few that I have here. So the next guy. Uh... Don't bother me, great. Yes. Wolf, you trade for potatoes, don't you? They're all cut from the same cloth. Um, anyways, if this sugar cane would grow, what are you doing underneath my phone? Ignore what I'm doing guys, just just look away. Look away monsters, don't worry. You can look away. How's the iron farm doing though? Oh, you know, it's, it's doing good. It's not producing. What the hell? The monster died. I think an iron golem killed the mob. Inside the farm. Making it useless. Understood. This is not fun. Um, I was meant to be producing that, I'm sure. Fucking useless. Damned mob. Search that tiger. There we go, beautiful industry. Anyways, how's the zombie form doing? Head down, down hall. I don't know why I keep closing that door behind me. You know, the farm for producing. I still can't believe I engineered that by myself. Um, this isn't really. God, this produces quickly. If you're gonna build a general mob farm, build them like this. They're bloody amazing. It's just a fucking monolith, but it works so well. This is done planting, half of them will be done already, so... 
I gave you like 40 stacks of seeds and you guys have taken this long to plant this much, honestly. There's a reason that players are separate from villagers, because players actually do think so, we just don't. We're just gonna go, hmm, yes. Sure I'm being used for slavery, but hey. At least my what? At least my aim is getting better. Damn man, that's it. Why is there so many of you? Sure, this may be exclusively designed for not my farm land. As general pops more plum, actually, I think this is doing pretty well. I'm gonna let it sit for a little while. This has no looting, by the way. These are just drops, so like. <laughs> Bye, bitch. I survived! <laughs> Okay, the light's coming on, which means the day is ending, which means the village is going to stop producing pretty soon, they notice. Which means, of course, the only answer is to hide the sun from them. You can't know what time it is if there isn't the sun, because in this game, nobody has a watch. <laughs> Thank God villagers are just lines of code, otherwise this would be incredibly wrong. The second it becomes nighttime, all of you start spawning. Honestly, it's just too much. It's too many of you. No. Oh, piss. Fuck off, game. Honestly. Oh, well, I don't want these guys to be spawning either, so I'm just gonna. This is definitely because I don't want them to be spawning and not because I just want free self promotion, but you know. Go. All of them are named, so we're gonna get no despawnies now. That's right, guys, not even death can get you out of here now. <laughs> not even death can save you. Welcome to Bat Tiger Incorporated, where our motto is not even death can save you. <laughs> Loyal workers, I'd like to remind you that, that skipping a work day is punishable by 500 years in hell. Anyone that wishes to skip a day of work would please like to die, because that is what you're going to do. Thank you for working with Bat Tiger, and as always, stop fucking picking up the wheat, you prick. Jefferson, I see you. Do I need to turn on the water? Oh, you pricks. That's it, we're turning on the water. Why is the water on this side not working? Let me get like a lever and test it. Let me get like a redstone torch down. Lever goes there. There's nothing connecting it, that's why. Huh! That's why! No. That's right, none of you get to have any of your work done. That's right, the punishment for misbehaviour is the water. None of you want that, right? Okay, I don't think this is a farm, this is more of an elaborate villager torture mechanism. Because, like, these villagers are never going to see the sun again, they're never going to see 
Congratulations, lo loyal employees. You have successfully won the prize of never getting to see your su the sun, your families, or even the outside world ever again. You now live inside of this stone box. Congratulations. You have successfully achieved pure peace. Have fun. I'm thinking, what about that gap outside? Won't they get some natural light in through there? No, they're getting no vitamin D. The only light they're going to get is from the damn redstone lamps when the night happens. Why? Because I am a cruel god and all subjugated underneath me shall feel my wrath. This is meant to be a redstone tutorial and it's turned into hell. Sounds on par for one of my videos, to be honest. Anyways. The water's going off again. You may start production of your food. Of the foodstuffs that you require. They got washed so far away from their job sidewalks, they literally lost their jobs. Jesus Christ. This entire room is now self-sustaining. They will keep themselves alive in there. But they'll never get to see the outside world again. You know? I almost envy them. Anyways, let's check the other farms that actually work. I mean, I guess that technically works. I've got to see. Because it prioritizes creepers, it does technically count as a gunpowder farm. Motherfuckers. The iron farm is working as intended. No, as intended. Oh fuck, a zombie! Oh fuck, there it is again! Shit! Oh, you were safe. Motherfucker, he's back! We need to put a stop to this. We must stop this zombie. Ah, fuck. Ah, shit! Fuck a zombie! Fuck, 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 fuck! Off you. Off you, we're safe. Off you. We've caught us. Oh no, the golem! The golem's died! The golem! And the golem's dead. Question, how many mobs have I killed? Uh, statistics... Mobs, you have killed 62 bats, you have never been killed by a bat. Thank god, I have killed 147 creeper, you have never been killed by creeper. I have killed a whole, like, two trade alarms, eight villagers, one wandering trader, three witches, 520 zombies, one zombie villager. You have never been a killed by a zombie village. I've never even attacked by these things. Oh, I've killed seven cats. Oh, that feels bad. Items. I have had a lot of seeds dropped, picked up. Times used. Times crafted. Times broken. Times mined. Times used. Times times used. How how much is that? Bow. Nineteen slab. Bow. Where the hell's the stone block? I want to see how. Gunpowder. Times picked up. I've got a lot of gunpowder from that farm. Wow. Uh, bone! <laughs> I got a lot of bone, what can I say? Uh, carrots, yup, feels fair. Uh, blooming, what the fuck is the stone slab? Oh god, wait, where's the stone block itself? Like, where's the stone block? 3,000 times used! Oh, I've only picked it up four times. Okay, that's great. General, damage absorbed, zero. Cauldron spilled, 100? Oh, wait, no, chest opened, 137. Cauldron spilled, zero. Uh, just walked on water. How have I walked that far? Walked underwater, okay. I've walked six and a half kilometers. Distance by minecart. How have I ridden a minecart? Oh yeah, I sat on for a few seconds. Distance by pig. You know what? Our next video, we're going to make a pig fighting arena where both combatants are on pigs and they have to fight with the carrot on a stick. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we're doing that next episode, but for now, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all here next time, and bye bye.